this day too. Yeah. <laughs> Say hi. Yeah, Echo says hello. We're back for another day. We're gonna start today off with a quick run. Um, I don't wanna, I don't know how to record me running. So what I'm gonna do is, what I'm, we're starting today off with a quick run. Now, I don't really know how to record that. So I'm just thinking I'm gonna go run. And then by the time I'm back here on screen, I'm gonna look like I just finished running. So we'll do that real quick. Hopefully you could tell that I just got back from a run. Pretty good, pretty good run. Took me about 35 minutes. Some good cardio, a good mix of walking and running. I feel really out of shape. My cardio has definitely suffered in the winter time, but it'll get better. I did my shorter circuit today because I was a little strapped on time. When I went to start filming today, my SD card of my camera broke. So you can imagine my frustration on day two when we already had technical difficulties. Another day of full body and our main compound lift will be bench press. Now that I've taken a minute to recuperate, we're gonna do our best to start our main compound lift today. Yeah, Echo, I agree. Now, someone was lazy yesterday and didn't re-rack their weights in the gym, so now I have to do it. God, I wonder who the slob was in the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. He likes to yell at me to open the window. My cardio has gotten so bad. I wonder if I have asthma. I might have asthma. It's very possible. <laughs> oh, someone mentioned in one of the comments somewhere, I should put a before picture so that you guys understand where I was. I'll put that up on the screen. You guys can see this was me just a few years ago. As you can tell, I've definitely come a long way, but I still want to be even further. I feel like I should get one of those uh, Whoop bands or Apple watches. Maybe it'll give me a better idea of how my body's doing. What do you guys think? Do any of you guys have one of those fitness bands? Fitbit, Apple Watch, Whoop, whatever. You like it? Does it work? We're gonna do a little warm up set. My elbow just popped. For me, bench is one of my, or used to be one of my favorites. Deadlift might be my favorite. I really do like uh, squats too though. I don't know, I like all the compound lifts. I think the one exercise in my rotation that I really dislike is RDLs. We're gonna get a working set. This one will probably be 10 reps. Right now I'm focusing on progressive overload. So if you're unfamiliar with what that means, it's basically every single week or every rotation of the weights, I'm gonna try to add five pounds to the exercise. So I have these small gray plates up there. And those are 2.5, so 2.5, 2.5, five pounds every week until I can't anymore. And then I sit at the weight and train there. And that's a great way to build up strength. Progressive overload, progressive car insurance. Where's my sponsor money? Quick little 10 piece, side of fries. Mm. Oh, there's another cat. Who that? Who that? <laughs> hey, bub. You know what? We'll be benching 210 today. Four to six reps. Anytime you're trying to build strength, you're shooting for a weight that you could do anywhere between four to six reps. I really like science based lifting. I like it's a number game. It really is a number game. I think a lot of people underestimate how much of a number game it is. For me, I really gamified the whole workout process. Like I was explaining this to one of my friends on World of Warcraft the other day, and they were like, hey, how did you get so fit? And I told them one of the things that I focused on was like gamifying the workout. For me, I love MMORPGs and stuff like World of Warcraft. And I've played tons of, tons of games where essentially I work on a character and I get like the best gear, the best stats, you know, putting tons of hours. And I'm like, if I could do that 
over and over again for characters in video games, I should be able to apply that same principle to myself. And it really worked. And it sounds silly, but it worked. All right, four to six. See, the hard part about making fitness related content that I've come to find out is that you can't really do retakes, right? Like I'm gonna be too physically exhausted to refilm sets of bench press, right? So if it's scuffed, it's scuffed. It kind of just feels like we're having a conversation. You know, maybe you guys are chat, who knows? All right, guys. Nice. Whew, I almost got stuck there. If you're worried, I go to failure, I have safety catches here. Safety third. Gains first, baby. What am I listening to? It's a good track. Megalovania from Undertale. Undertale has some really good songs. Hopes and Dreams. You know, this isn't bad either too, considering yesterday we did Barrel Press to Failure. Let's get one more good set in. I got a lot of comments about how some of you guys are starting your journey. Love that, I love that. I'm looking forward to more updates from you guys. Like you, I am updating you. You know, we're trading here, okay? We're trading. Right, Echo? You little climber? All right, chat. That's why we're thankful for safety catches. We went to failure. It's a good thing. For the longest time, I was scared to go to failure. But that right there is one of the things that have made me get a lot stronger. I think we'll call it on bench for now. I feel good. Chest feels good. Yeah, that's not too bad. We can work with that. Lower face pulls. I'm hungry. <laughs> Fuck. I'm really tired. I didn't sleep too much. Maybe I should take like a thumbnail picture. One more. Ooh. It's like squeezing an apple between your shoulder blades, kind of. Do I look like I have big shoulders? <clears throat> this next exercise, I would argue, is a favorite amongst many people in the gym. I'm gonna do 150. I'm gonna see how that feels. Remember, we want to push the biceps to failure. <laughs> My bicep, huge right now. We'll do one more set of those. I have cable raises and RDLs, but should I post my workout sheet? Do you guys want to see like the week? I don't know, let me know. Also, if someone could help me make like an Excel sheet of some sort, that would be cool. I really want to track my workouts and my weights, but with ADHD, I forget a lot. I need like an easy way to do it. One more good set for the biceps. Done. Second to last exercise of the day. Let me do two to three sets of this one. I am pretty exhausted. Lucky for me, we got food on the stove. So after these two sets of RDLs, I can eat some food. I'm gonna grab my adjustable dumbbells and I'm gonna set them to five which is 30 pounds. This is arguably one of the hardest exercises for me. It's my arms giving out more than my hamstrings. I hate having tight hamstrings. Right here is so bad. <sighs> I got no gas in the tank. We're done. 
I'll see you guys in the kitchen. We're now in the kitchen. Oh, I apologize. It's a little messy in here. It's not too bad, but hi. Now, while I was working out, mom made a marinara meat sauce. The nice part about this meat sauce is if you look, there are chunks of tri-tip in there and it's left over from the other day when we cooked. So it's gonna be bomb. Now for pasta, I really like this protein pasta. One of the things when it comes to dieting is that you really don't wanna get rid of things. Diets that restrict you will make you fail. Instead, finding healthier substitutions has really helped me and I still eat a lot of the food that I like, just a healthier alternative, so. Now, not every video will have food uh, either, but you know, why not? So, see you guys in a sec. Yo, what up? I'm seeing what you up to tonight. I just finished my workout. Oh, ho, ho, you bastard. Um, Trying to play some games or what? I'm down to play a couple of twos before I head out. Yeah, a couple of twos with the boy. I right. So I'll be up in like five minutes. Just say you're not ready, bro. Oh, I'm not ready, bro. I miss food. I should turn this on. Mom, food's ready. I guess we got to make a bowl for mom. Now, let's get a serving for me. I'm really hungry. I haven't had any food all day. A good amount of calories. Now I'm feeling like a fat boy. So I'm gonna take a piece of ghost pepper jack cheese, lay it on the top of my noodle. All right, I'm gonna devour this and we'll go play some games. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.